Hey everybody, welcome back. I'm Nate Moore. This is Excel Video 180. What we're going to do today is combine the index function that we talked about a couple of videos ago with the match function we covered last time. Here's match right there. And put them together to look something up in this provider list. First, just briefly, remember what index does. It says given this range, this area, which A14, excuse me, A40, E14, in this range, I want to go column four and row four, column four, like that. So if we go down one, two, three, four rows and over four columns, you know, I'm going to find A, A, B there. So again, all index is doing is saying for a given area, go this many rows, this many columns, four rows, four columns. That's all F5 and G5 are doing. And again, what match does is say, okay, I want you to find this PEN, our doctor with the initials PEN, in this range right here. And when you find it, just tell me what number you found. That's all match is doing. Remember the zero says exact match. So what we're going to do now is we're going to combine these two in this cell down here. So what I want to know is if I put in a physician's initials, I want this to tell me the NPI. And so we go down, we find TAM, and it goes back and finds the NPI. Remember, we can't use VLOOKUP here because VLOOKUP can't find this and then go back negative. You could go ahead and put some more dummy columns and replicate the NPI over here or do something to make it work, but you don't have to. What you do is you do index and match, and here's how. It looks a little bit complicated, but it's really not that bad. What it's saying is the index range is A4 to E14. In this range, what, what row do I want first? Well, the row is the match function. The match function says find TAM, this A17 value and look for it in D4 to D14 and find an exact match. So all it's going to do is it's going to look here and say, where do I find cell A17, TAM? Well, I found it in the first one, so I'm going to make the row 1. And that's exactly where I want. I want it to be row 1. Well, what column do I need? Well, that's easy, just column 2, because I know I'm looking up NPI, so I can always look for column 2. And that's all there is to it. Let me play with the whole thing here, just so you can see the function. Remember, we want the reference version. That's all there is to it. In this range. The row number we don't know, so we're going to look it up with the match function. And match is going to tell us which row it's on, and it, column two is where the MPI is. We're done. It's really that straightforward, and what it lets us do is do more powerful than VLOOKUP or HLOOKUP. We can find any row or column we want, forward or backward, up or down, because we can look for it with index and match. That's what I wanted to show you. You can put index and match together in one function and use match to either answer the row column for you. The, the row question for you, excuse me, or the column question for you. The next trick will use match to answer both the row and the column question for us, and we'll do that next time. Thanks for watching.